In mathematics, especially in the group theoretic area of algebra, the projective linear group is the induced action of the general linear group of a vector space V on the associated projective space P. Explicitly, the projective linear group is the quotient group PGL equals GL, Z where GL is the general linear group of V and Z is the subgroup of all non-zero scalar transformations of E. These are quotiented out because they act trivially on the projective space and they form the kernel of the action. And the notation Z reflects that the scalar transformations form the center of the general linear group. The projective special linear group, PSL, is defined analogously as the induced action of the special linear group on the associated projective space. Explicitly, PSL equals SL, SZ where SL is the special linear group over V and SZ is the subgroup of scalar transformations with unit determinant. Here SZ is the center of SL, and is naturally identified with the group of NTH roots of unity in K. PGL and PSL are some of the fundamental groups of study, part of the so-called classical groups. And an element of PGL is called projective linear transformation, projective transformation or homography. If V is the n-dimensional vector space over a field F, namely V equals Fn, the alternate notations PGL and PSL are also used. Note that PGL and PSL are equal if and only if every element of F has an nth root in F. As an example, note that PGL equals PSL, but PGL greater than PSL. This corresponds to the real projective line being orientable, and the projective special linear group only being the orientation preserving transformations. PGL and PSL can also be defined over a ring, with an important example being the modular group, PSL. Name the name comes from projective geometry, where the projective group acting on homogeneous coordinates is the underlying group of the geometry. Stated differently, the natural action of GL on V descends to an action of PGL on the projective space P. The projective linear groups therefore generalize the case PGL of Mobius transformations, which acts on the projective line. Note that unlike the general linear group, which is generally defined axiomatically as invertible functions preserving the linear structure, the projective linear group is defined constructively as a quotient of the general linear group of the associated vector space, rather than axiomatically as invertible functions preserving the projective linear structure. This is reflected in the notation. PGL is the group associated to GL, and is the projective linear group of dimensional projective space, not n-dimensional projective space. Collineations A related group is the collineation group, which is defined axiomatically. A collineation is an invertible map which sends collinear points to collinear points. One can define a projective space axiomatically in terms of an incidence structure satisfying certain axioms, an automorphism of a projective space. Thus defined then being an automorphism F of the set of points and an automorphism G of the set of lines. Preserving the incidence relation, which is exactly a collineation of a space to itself. Projective linear transforms are collineations. But in general not all collineations are projective linear transforms. PGL is in general a proper subgroup of the collineation group. Specifically, for n equals 2, all points are collinear, so the collineation group is exactly the symmetric group of the points of the projective line. And except for F2 and F3, PGL is a proper subgroup of the full symmetric group on these points. For N3, the collineation group is the projective semilinear group P gamma L. This is PGL, twisted by field automorphisms, formerly P gamma L PGL gal, where K is the prime field for K. This is the fundamental theorem of projective geometry. Thus for K A prime field, we have PGL equals P gamma L, but for K A field with non-trivial Galois automorphisms, 
The projective linear group is a proper subgroup of the collineation group, which can be thought of as transforms preserving a projective semilinear structure. Correspondingly, the quotient group P gamma L, PGL equals gal corresponds to choices of linear structure, with the identity being the existing linear structure. One may also define collineation groups for axiomatically defined projective spaces where there is no natural notion of a projective linear transform. However, with the exception of the non-Disargasian planes, all projective spaces are the projectivization of a linear space over a division ring though, as noted above, there are multiple choices of linear structure, namely a torsor over gal, elements. The elements of the projective linear group can be understood as tilting the plane along one of the axes, and then projecting to the original plane, and also have dimension n. A more familiar geometric way to understand the projective transforms is via projective rotations, which corresponds to the stereographic projection of rotations of the unit hypersphere, and has dimension visually. This corresponds to standing at the origin, and turning one's angle of view, then projecting onto a flat plane. Rotations in axes perpendicular to the hyperplane preserve the hyperplane and yield a rotation of the hyperplane, which has dimension. While rotations in axes parallel to the hyperplane are proper projective maps, and accounts for the remaining n dimensions, properties. PGL sends collinear points to collinear points, but it is not the full collineation group, which is instead either P gamma L or the full symmetric group for n equals 2. Every algebraic automorphism of a projective space is projective linear. The birational automorphisms form a larger group, the Cremona group. PGL acts faithfully on projective space. Non-identity elements act non-trivially. Concretely, the kernel of the action of GL on projective space is exactly the scalar maps which are quotiented out in PGL. PGL acts chapter 2 transitively on projective space. This is because two distinct points in projective space correspond to two vectors that do not lie on a single linear space and hence are linearly independent, and GL acts transitively on K element sets of linearly independent vectors. PGL acts sharply 3 transitively on the projective line. Three arbitrary points are conventionally mapped to 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 in alternative notation 0, 1. In fractional linear transformation notation, the function maps to 0, b1, c infinity, and is the unique such map that does so. This is the cross ratio, c cross ratio, transformational approach for details. For N3, PGL does not act 3 transitively, because it must send 3 collinear points to 3 other collinear points, not an arbitrary set. For N equals 2 the space is the projective line, so all points are collinear and this is no restriction. PGL does not act 4 transitively on the projective line, as P1 has 3 plus 1 equals 4 points. So 3 transitive implies 4 transitive, the invariant that is preserved is the cross ratio, and this determines where every other point is sent. Specifying where 3 points are mapped determines the map. Thus in particular it is not the full collineation group of the projective line. PSL and PGL are two of the four families of Zazenhaus groups. PSL and PGL are algebraic groups of dimension n2-1, since they are both open subgroups of the projective space Pn2-1. For PGL, n2 is the dimension of GL and the minus 1 is from projectivization. For PSL, n2-1 is the dimension of SL, which is a covering space of PSL, so they have the same dimension. More casually, PSL differs from SL and from PGL by a finite group in each case, so the dimensions agree. This is also reflected in the order of the groups over finite fields, as the degree of the order is a polynomial in Q. The order of PGL is QN2-1 plus lower order terms. PSL and PGL are centerless, 
This is because the diagonal matrices are not only the center, but also the hypercenter. Fractional linear transformations is for Mobius transformations. The group PGL can be interpreted as fractional linear transformations with coefficients in K, a matrix corresponding to the rational function where multiplication of matrices agrees with composition of functions, and quotienting out by scalar matrices corresponding to multiplying the top and bottom of the fraction by a common factor. As with Mobius transformations, these functions can be interpreted as automorphisms of the projective line over K.